not inactive at WDKX.com. Thank you for making this a part of your morning next week to top the out. So yesterday I had a chance to meet up with uh, Dr. Uh, Carl Bell. And one of the things that he talked about, which was so clear in our conversation, was the fact that we've got to get back to community. We've got to get back to knowing the neighbors, liking the neighbors, understanding them, uh, talking to them. Granted, I hate to say it, some people say, it's really funny. It'd be nice if people were nicer to one another. Right. Wouldn't it? Right. You, but you know what? I think you don't have to like everybody, mm -hmm. but as long as you respect everyone, just be respectful. Yeah. Be respectful and kind. And that, that'll go a long way mm -hmm. as opposed to Kind of mean, or you don't speak, or you don't say anything. Yeah, or a mean mug. Yeah, mean, mean mug. mug. Uh, uh, just have you ever gotten like the mean mug? Like you, you have you ever gone to that and just be like, okay, uh, you know, I'm Generation News, good news. I want good people. I want a good vibe. This event you guys are having on Saturday, you're looking for the good vibe, the community, us all coming together, and understand it's okay not to have a mean mug on your face, right? Definitely. Um, just. When I go and present Generation News or Generation Outreach to people, sometimes you get the the reaction like, you know, that positive stuff may not work. Mm -hmm. um, and so with these events, what we're trying to do is we're trying to promote the positive. We're trying to bring an awareness to, you know, doing something good for the community, doing something good for your fellow your fellow neighbor, and that's what that's what these events are all about. Uh, talk a bit about, uh, Rashad, what, what are you guys doing on Saturday? Where do people need to go? What's the whole effort in, in, in trying to make people understand that it doesn't just have to start with a mean look and then go on from there. What is Saturday all about and what time should people be there? All right, so first of all, we adopted the idea from the Random Acts of Kindness Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, it's a national initiative that they have going on. So we're like, this Saturday, we want to make sure that we celebrate community. Mm -hmm. We want to bring people together because we, we've lost that. You know, like as we talked about, we really don't say hi to our neighbors. Nope. We don't have conversations. Nope. And we're trying to bring that back. So we're trying to get the community together. 999 South Avenue at the South Ave Community Center. You know, we got free hot dogs, free hamburgers, free drinks. We want families to bring out kids. We just want to have fun. What time on Saturday? It's Saturday at 11 a.m. Okay. All right, so 11 a.m., sort of mid-morning brunch just before lunch. You're getting up. Some people get up late on Saturday. Some people get up early on Saturday. Put that in. My Saturday is just like everybody else. You kind of have this agenda right. of things yeah, you have yeah. to do. You start off with breakfast, maybe you clean up, and then you head on out. This should be on your agenda for Saturday. And how long does it go to? About 1.30, 2 o'clock. Okay. All right. All right. It's going to be nice Saturday. It's going to be Just beautiful. come out, hang out with us, yes. have some fun, see some performances. And, and when you say performances, what can people expect as far as entertainment goes? And uh, uh, you mentioned food, which is great. Right. Yeah. Free food. Free food. Free food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> even, even greater. Who uh, love free food? So, uh, but what about the entertainment? What we're we we're pretty much going to have some, some steppers, some spoken word, uh, performances from 11G. It's a, it's a rap and singing group. Mm -hmm. And also uh, David Williams, D. Will, is going to be performing there as well. So it's just going to be a lot, of, a lot of good performances and a lot of fun for people. Go ahead, go and we, we also have some community vendors. Um, we have a few that are going to be there. Um, providing services and products for people so we're really excited the community has really stepped up and helped us um, you know we have some great sponsors so we're very excited about that it's going to be a successful fun live event uh, one of the things why one of the reasons why we bring this up is because I think it's just simple it, it, it's I think we think that the answer is complex uh, but it's very simple it's no longer this feeling of I'm in this all by myself you don't have to feel that way there are people that you know, Rashad, you and I were just talking about one another. Sometimes, even on your own street, people don't want to say hi. And right, it's maybe they're right. dealing with things, or they don't want you in their business, right. and that's all that stuff. But that's effortless. You right, know, right. you live 20 feet from my house. Right. All right? You need we, to look out for yeah, me. Yeah, and I'll look out for you. Exactly. You know? And, but, at, but we've gone to, I'm going to mind my business, you mind your own. And it doesn't help. And when I was talking to Dr. Bell yesterday, that's the real fiber of the community we have to get back to. Just Hello. Right. Hello. Just, just hey. Hi. You know, you don't have to. I don't have to know you, your troubles and everything like that. Just, just say you've got a kid five years older than my kid. So if I see something or you see something, let's have that common bond and say I'll look out for mine if you look out for yours. Exactly. And what's I think what's remarkable is it seems corny, and I would even at one point said it was corny, mm -hmm. but sometimes a simple hi can make your day go yeah. you know, a little bit more better. Even, even if you're the more, like you can walk into a place and all that rough and tough and stuff, 
you'd be surprised. But I walk into a place and just say, hey, what's going on, man? Hey, man, you know how it is. And it's just right there. You have a common bond. Right. Right, right then and there. Uh, you have a you have a same you have that same interest and you're all on the same level. This sort of this sort of you gotta respect me because you don't respect me and I gotta respect you. It starts with simple. Right, it really right. starts from there, and then you build, right? right. That's right. And that's yeah. what that's what we're trying to do: bring the community community together. Mm -hmm. um, with our TV show Generation News, we try to focus on all the positive things so that when when people look at young people or people look at people in general, they yeah. see that there's another side to them. Yep. They see that they're doing these positive things. And um, the events that we're doing, it doesn't just stop at this Saturday event. We have four events going on in the month of October. It's called Remember October. And um, we basically adopted the Random Acts of Kindness National Call to Action um, by doing positive things. And our second event, we're going to be honoring public servants. So we're honoring um, police officers, firefighters, teachers, um, teachers military people. And that's going to be at the Public Safety Building. Mm -hmm. Our third event is going to be Generation Wipeout. All right, we're going to be at starting at Liberty Pole, going down Clinton, and we're doing a clean sweep. We're bringing everybody together just to keep our neighborhoods clean. And that's another event where we got free food. So okay. we're trying to encourage people because you know that free food gets you out. Hey, right. It you works. Know, it works. works. At, at the end of the day, we want to do something positive for our community. And our fourth event is our Makeover Express event. We're giving makeovers to up to 15 underprivileged youth. So we're wow. really trying wow. to make impact. We're trying to have people practice kindness all throughout the year. So we let 2014 be that year of kindness for Rochester. Yeah, we had, we got a, we had a practice of going into it, right. and that starts with this Saturday. event on Saturday, and then goes into uh, not only October 5th but the 12th, 19th, and 26th. They're all weekends in the month of October, so it's not like oh I gotta go to this event on Thursday. Nope, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. That's right. All of it. And we're we're also asking for volunteers if you want to come out and help us out with what we're doing. Feel free free to register on the website. And um, come out, participate. Uh, can they go to uh, generationnews.org to get information? You can go to generationnews.org. You can get all the information and register there. If you're a business or a, no a nonprofit organization, you can also come out and um, be a vendor at no charge. For free. Okay. For free. All right. Just come out and show the community what you're doing. Um, we got Our Voice Magazine that's going to be a vendor there. Mm -hmm. We have um, Center for Youth that's going to be coming out. So. We got a couple, uh, a couple different organizations that are coming out to to support what we're what we're doing. And it's a community event. It's not just aimed towards young people. It's aimed towards everybody. Right? Everybody. Okay. But with all this free going on, because we have talked about a lot of free, mm. we're still looking for sponsors and donations. <laughs> so right. if you guys are out there listening, and if you want to help us help the community, please feel free to contact us right now. Yeah. There's plenty of positive. <laughs> there's plenty of positive. Text us six seven eight one zero three nine if you want to get in touch. Uh, with Generation News and any different events that's going on, not only this Saturday, but uh, consecutive Saturdays throughout the month of October. It's a perfect opportunity before it gets too cold. Right. You know what I mean, we've got, we got some good weather we can cash in on. That's right. In October. It's about to be 80 this that, week, next week. Come I know, on. I know, right? Well, you know, we, we're Rochester, you never know. You I'll never take know. 70. I'll right. take 70. I'm fine with that. <laughs> you know. Generation New, uh, we appreciate you guys. Really. Thank you for having it, it takes Thank effort, you. and a lot of people say, when is somebody going to do something? You guys are actually doing something. Yes, and uh, you should be commended for that. 10 before 9 at WDKX Week Football Articles. Good morning. Good. Thank you. That's good, man. Thank you so much. How quickly do you turn over, like, your video?